A-level English Literature. My name is Mr Dowling and I'm Head of English at Cambridge Home School Online. OK, in English Literature, what kind of uh, work are we looking at? Well, let's take um, this year's L5 as an example. And here's their reading list. They've got an amazing range of texts from the mid 20th century drama Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, made into an incredible late 50s film with Elizabeth Taylor and Paul Newman and Burl Ives. The renowned American poet Maya Angelou. Got a range of stories. Great premise that Cambridge has that if it's written in English, it's something that can be part of the course. You get a range of stories from across the world and across time. To read or not to read? That is not the question because you will be reading and you will be doing some Shakespeare in the form of Hamlet. We've got modern drama from Sheila Stevenson. L5 students are going to go back in time and learn some Middle English as we tackle Chaucer. And finally, they've got the incredible novel by the amazing American writer Toni Morrison, Beloved. But just don't just take my word for what English is about. Listen to some of the students. I find that literature has been the most enriching subject of my A-level course. I take all humanities, but this one has gone into more depth than I can ever imagine. In its understanding of philosophy, politics, theology and language, I have been immersed into an entire world full of books, authors and history. I initially took literature to advance my understanding in politics, to read between the lines, diplomacy and etc. But it has elevated me in ways I could not imagine. The texts being taught on drama have brought history to life. The poets from olden times and modern have completely enriched my idea on human worldview and what life is all about. I would really recommend this course to people who really want to advance themselves into the future, but also stay rooted in the past and experience all different sorts of worldviews. That's it from me. To be completely honest, when I signed up for English literature, I expected us to just open a book and analyse a text. At the time, I had not understood what the subject comprised of. I can now say that I understand English literature as the in-depth analysis of literary works through different times, periods and societies. The combination of this gives insight into the geopolitical aspects of that time. It is the documentation of human behaviour throughout history and the most applicable subject in everyday life. English literature teaches a person to consider context, background and ethnicity before making a judgment, a characteristic that is vital to a better functioning society. Whether we are in Gilead or watching an experiment with an air pump, English literature has enhanced the analyt analytical abilities of all of us through bringing literary literary works to life. As a person with a more science and analytically based background, literature is a subject that I thoroughly enjoy. Literature has opened many doors for me because literature has given me the power to have an enriched understanding of other worlds, lives and historical periods of the way things have been and how they might be. It can all also be used as a model for how society can operate nowadays. Nonetheless, literature cultivates wisdom and a worldwide view. Issues of the world are connected to the emotions of the heart and good principles are formed when reading the classics. It broadens your scope of knowledge and encourages you to think outside the box and have an open mindset about topics. Personally, it's a subject that has made me into a more well-rounded person, so I take things in a more philosophical approach. It suits me perfectly as it further develops my analytical skill sets. I think the importance of literature really lies in um, its storytelling aspect, and I think storytelling is um, definitely a very important tool for in terms of um, yeah, like humanity and um, like Mr. Allen said, and um, understanding the human condition um, and processing one's own thoughts and experiences. That's something that I'm definitely very passionate about, and I, in this course, uh, it allowed me to um, broaden my 
I guess, taste level. A book that I didn't expect necessarily to really enjoy was King Lear because of how complicated it was and how, you know, layered it was. But I found that its ambition and this ambitious nature and um, in like unpacking and uh, representing society and um, injustice uh, really, um, I found it very captivating. So, yeah, it definitely um, has been a very yeah, enriching experience. Literature has really helped me with self growth. It has taken me out of my comfort zone of what I would normally read. So, like for example, King Leo, which is a period drama, wouldn't be part of like my book list or something. But it has some. It has been something that I've experienced through literature at A level. And um, for example, Margaret Atwood as well, Handmaid's Tale, which has been really relatable to me, for me and. Um, in general, all the literature texts that we have studied so far, there's been a lot of them which has been relatable to all of us. And um, literature has really been impactful in the way that it has helped with thinking out loud and challenging your thoughts as well as backing them up as you hear other people's perspective in, with the issues that arise from the text that we have covered. Personally, when I started literature, I didn't really know what it was and I wasn't looking to enjoy it because I thought it would be extremely difficult. But I think Mr. Dowling as a teacher really allows you to progress in a way that is comfortable for yourself. So I grew to enjoy literature because I understood that there is so much more to a book than words on a page. And music ties into everything in life, whether you write lyrics for a song or read the newspaper, it's relative to all forms of everything that we do and English is extremely important. So I also recommend English if you're looking to really enhance your vocabulary and understanding. I agree with uh, so much in, in what's been said and I agree with um, every single thing. I'll pick one thing though, um, it was talking about storytelling and I think this is a very important thought that throughout history human beings have sat down and told each other stories in an attempt to make sense of what it means to be human and what their lives are about. Therefore studying those, story, those stories gives us so much of an enhanced understanding of the world and people's perspectives. There are studies out there that show a clear link between empathic skills and studying literature. That level of understanding of getting yourself into the mindset of a character or a culture, improving your understanding of the world. So if you come to literature and think it's just about good books, Sure, there's some good books there, but it's also about enhancing, developing and enhancing an understanding of today's world. Thank you.